Shane McCallery was one of the cast members of Discovery's hit TV show Street Outlaws. Driving the iconic 1977 Chevy Vega, famously known as the Blackbird. He first appeared in Season 6, Episode 2, which aired on October 26, 2015. Despite being one of the newest members of the crew, he wasted no time proving his worthiness. With his determination and past experience, he soon rose to be one of the best racers in the entire show. Going back to his old days, Shane grew up in Elix City, Oklahoma, adored by his mother Marilyn McCallery, alongside his two sisters. Carrie McCallery and Stacy McCallery Holly. If we dive into his personal life, then he wasn't the only racer in the family. Rather, he was heavily influenced by his dad, Rex McCallery, who used to be a first generation racer. Rex was a former professional racer who drove the L Stock 1957 Chevrolet in the 1960s and introduced the world of racing to Shane at an early age. His father helped him to get started with motocross and dirt track stock car racing. Then when he was ready enough, he started street racing with his old blazer. After Shane reached 16 years of age, he replaced his old blazer with the 1977 Chevy Vega. One of the main reasons why he chose Vega was, it was cheap and light. While he was out racing with his Vega, he became friends with Sean Ellington, who would later go on to become the murder nova of the street outlaws. With his 1977 Vega, Shane started participating in all kinds of racing contests. He would show up in every competition ranging from street racing to motocrossing. He even became a regular contestant in Drag Week ever since he first took part in it in 2014. After racing for several years, Murder Nova invited Shane to the Street Outlaws, and he took this golden opportunity, debuting in the Episode 2 of Season 6 of the series. Interestingly, he debuted alongside his co-driver Bob, who was with him for a very long time, before even debuting in Street Outlaws. However, Bob isn't an ordinary driver, but a mannequin, and has a rather unique story of his own. Shane walked into a clothing store having an auction when he spotted Bob. Then he ended up placing a bid on the mannequin and bought it. You see, the original idea for Bob was to help scare people in his shop. But now, Instead of simply acting as a pranking tool, Bob has become more than that. In fact, most of the people who know Shane's Blackbird are also probably familiar with Bob as well. Getting back to Shane, he wasted no time proving his credentials as one of the best racers in the show after debuting. With such a burning passion, he raced fiercely with his Blackbird, and not long after he was involved in a brutal car crash on the Outlaw Armageddon, no prep in 2016. At the speed of over 150 miles per hour, his 1977 Vega crashed with the series of flips and rolls, which completely destroyed the car. Many were horrified by the scene. The car was wrecked beyond recognition, and Shane had to be airlifted in an emergency air ambulance. Fortunately, he didn't suffer any significant injuries beside a concussion. The only thing he was unhappy about was the bill of the air ambulance, which alone costed him $40,000. He said the cause of the mishap was the result of an internal issue. Following the horrific crash, it took him quite some time to get started over again in Street Outlaws, but he was ultimately back in the racing scene and made a huge comeback with his newly built Blackbird Chevrolet Vega in 2017. Unfortunately, not long after, he got himself in yet another car crash. This time, he was facing Big Chief head-to-head -head in the semi-final round of the $100,000 invitation-only Street Outlaws at the Bristol Dragway on August 22, 2017. But, Shane lost control near mid-track, which caused his car to spin around and collided with the wall, facing back the direction he came from. Luckily, this wasn't as brutal as last time, and he didn't suffer much, both physically and financially. It took him only seven days to repair his wrecked Blackbird Chevrolet Vega to full race-ready condition. Shane has a really good sense of humor. So, now he keeps posting memes and other funny things on his social media from time to time. He is also a member at McCallery ADV and Cycle, and frequently promotes their products and services. However, for the most part, he is really private about his personal life and what he really is up to. And that's it for the video. What do you think about Shane McCallery?
Do you think he will be back on Street Outlaws? Do comment on what your thoughts are. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video and stay tuned for more.